Hello, it's Jamie and James, the Spray Dudes, with another top tip on how to get the most out of your pre-emergent sprays. And today, we're going to be covering water volumes. Getting your water volumes right is absolutely crucial for a pre-emergence application. Too little, and you get too much space between the individual droplets, too much, and it's inefficient use for your time. So to demonstrate this, I bought Jamie a round of drinks. That's very decent of you, James. I'm not really sure the relevance, but, but thank you. Just remember, it's all in the name of science. So, Jamie, are you a wine man? Well, I wouldn't say no. Thank you. This is a lovely uh, Chateau Neuf de Pap. Lovely, lovely. bouquet, wouldn't you say? Mmm. 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 Excellent. As Jamie is brilliantly demonstrating, the glass of wine represents 80 to 100 litres of water. You don't get very good coverage and in reality, this means poorer efficacy from your pre-emergent sprays. So, Jamie, are you more of a beer man? Um, well... Hmm. <laughs> the beer represents 200 litres a hectare, and as you can see, we're getting great coverage. Oh, Jamie yeah. really is quite wet, yes. and that's exactly what we want with our pre-em sprays. We want good coverage onto the seabed so we get good efficacy. And finally, a jug of PIMS to represent spraying at 400 litres a hectare. Uh, no, that's irrelevant. You don't need 400 litres a hectare. Jamie's right. 400 litres a hectare is too much. It will also be inefficient for spraying. For more information about how to get the most out of your pre-em sprays, head to the website.